Hello all. In this short video, I'm going to show you a nice easy way to stabilise your router should you find yourself in a position such as I'm showing here. I have a piece of walnut with a template on top to machine into a chair component. Big routers can get a big tippy, especially on a radius or end of a workpiece. What the router needs then is an outrigger to keep it balanced. Pretty much all but a handful of palm routers come with a fence like one of the two I have for my Bosch here. Said fences should have holes for screws in the front. These usually added so you can add a longer guide edge or just something to cover the gaps in the center. I'm going to use my lesser black fence purely as I don't have to mess about removing the screws already in the fancy one. I fit the fence to the router base so I can sit it on the work and measure the height of the holes. I also take a measurement for between the centers of the holes on the fence too. To make the outrigger, I'll use this piece of Melamine MDF. Could be made of whatever you have to hand really. First line is the depth I want. This is the height of the workpiece plus the template. The idea being the router base will sit directly on top of it. The second line is the hole position. Then I can lop off the little rip. I have a seven millimeter bit here. Whoa, I think this bit might be ready for the recycle bin. Bent as a banana. New 7mm bit installed, the two screw holes can get drilled. The edge that will be in contact with the bench, I ease over with a little sandpaper, just rounding off the sharp square edges so it won't snag anywhere on this well used bench. Same with the bottom corners, just a slight round. For good measure, I give the bottom edge a good dollop of machine wax to help it glide over the bench top. For the screws, use whatever fits. For me, it was these M5 hex screws. I have a penny washer hex end, and at the router fence end, I have a couple of spacers and a nylock nut. The space is just there to take up the thread, so I don't spend all morning getting the nut to where it'll bite. The MDF outrigger can just sit on the router base as it was cut to the right height. Then the screws, washers, spacers, and what have you can go on. Then cinch down. If you're fitting to a plastic fence like this one, just be careful not to over tighten. Quick check to make sure both sides of the outrigger are where they should be in relation to the work, and voila! A big heavy router now able to float around on top of a narrow workpiece and stay balanced. Much safer and less risk of damage. Here's a few shots of it in anger then. Works really well, especially around the radius end of the workpiece as here. Just perfectly stable. I never normally find wobble too much of a problem on long straights so much, but even so, with this outrigger you just have so much more confidence in your cutting, not having to worry about balance. I'm removing a lot more than I normally would as you can probably see, but I've had another 6mm bandsaw blade break and being the time of year it is, I'm just keen to crack on rather than wait for its replacement to cut a little closer to the template. Those Banggood compression bits eat through material though, so I'm not really bothered. But there we are, little outrigger to balance the router. I've cut myself three different sizes for the different size stock I cut for my furniture, but you could cut an outrigger for any height really, just no less than the fence itself sits below the router base obviously. One of those things that's got me wondering why I didn't make this a habit a long, long time ago. Oh well, better late than never. Hope you found this pretty quick and easy tip useful. Please like and sub and all that for more like this. Comments and questions welcome below and as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.